time for the Jedi to end. Why? It's time to let old things die. The Sith, the Jedi, the Rebels, let it all die. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything? Why Star Wars? I don't know. <laughs> this is not a Star Wars channel or a Star Trek channel or a Doctor Who channel, although I do cover some of that stuff. And, and I just happened to come across this uh, article, which I'm sure will make a lot of fans happy. being sarcastic, just in case you're wondering. Luke was right. Star Wars 9 should end the Jedi and the Sith. Okie dokie. Let's take a look and see what this says here. Star Wars episode, episode 9 will conclude both Disney's sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga. Yeah, we should all know that by now. But it should go even further. And end the Jedi and the Sith. Screen rat, you suck. Uh... <laughs> The two warring factions of Force users have helped to find the franchise, but to fully realize the end of it all, both need to go, just as Skywalker said. Okay, if you don't have Jedi and Sith, and you don't have lightsabers, it's not freaking Star Wars. That's all I gotta say. Who's gonna watch it? Who is going to watch Star Wars if it doesn't have Jedi uh, and Sith? It'll just be a regular sci-fi series, if that's the case. No one's going to care. I don't know. Maybe you would care. Well, since 1977, we've seen a number of Jedi and Sith. Blah, 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 blah. We all know this. Um, and then, in the also wonderful The Last Jedi, Luke's words were, It's time for the Jedi to end. It sent shockwaves around Star Wars. You think? Uh, when the trailer first dropped, Episode 8 added a lot more context to that controversial part. Yeah, it was all a bunch of suck. Uh, clarifying Luke's position. <laughs> He'd bore witness to the damage done by both sides of the Jedi Sith. Dick... Dick got to me. Why use a word like that? Like, how often do people use... How often do people use this word? I don't know. It wasn't just that one was good and one evil. They both used and manipulated the Force in ways they shouldn't. For the Jedi, it was their hubris that blinded them from seeing the enlightened path. With the end result being another young student, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, Ryan Johnson created all this, and we know how much uh, roundhead uh, Johnson really screwed the pooch when it came to Star Wars, so... We can just take a piss on that. Though, <laughs> through Luke, the last Jedi took us deeper into the Force as an all-encompassing thing. Don't get me started. But more importantly, there was balance. There was a balance of nothing in that movie. For as long as there are Jedi, true balance seemingly blah, 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 blah. That's why Luke wanted to end the Jedi to his mind. The Sith were gone. It was only the Jedi who were keeping the Force from being balanced. He'd somewhat changed his mind by the end of the film. The Sith are gone. But not really. So far in the sequel trilogy, we haven't actually seen a Sith Lord. This distinguished it from the previous trilogies. The originals have Vader, blah, 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 blah. blah. Except, of course, that Kylo Ren is basically on his way to becoming a Sith. I guess. He's more of a dark Jedi, isn't he? I don't know. He's already got the Vader-inspired look. Yeah, that was original. And the impressive power set. He and... Yeah, but not as impressive as uh, Mary Sue Ray. Uh, he and Snoke largely followed the Master Prentice dynamic, established by the Rule of the Two. They held to the dark side of the Force and went... So I get, Here's what I think. I think he was probably Sith to begin with. But then when he killed um, 
the Snoke. <laughs> when he killed Snoke, and that's it's like you kind of like want to forget Last Jedi happened. So when he killed Snoke, um, well, that pretty much kind of killed that Sith duo type of thing. Although he was trying to recruit Ray over, but I guess that just pretty means he's a dark Jedi now. I, who knows? I have no idea. Maybe he'll become a light set Sith. Uh, let's see. He, um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Now he's in charge of the First Order. Don't, I, that's such a stupid name. And intent on ruling the galaxy. The Empire sounds cool. The First Order. That's, I don't know, that's a retarded name. And intent on ruling the galaxy. He might have told Rey to let the past die, but asking her to join him fit with the dark side orders ancient ways oh there's a page two lovely page two how destroying both sides can bring balance to the force i'm gonna get you well i don't care i'm going to cut this rock all right anyway star wars episode nine is ending this yeah you just said that that leaves it with a lot to wrap up. Well. I don't know. It needs to definitively end the journeys of Luke, Leia, and most likely Kylo Ren, but in a way that loops together three trilogies, nine movies, and 42 years of cinema. But that's not even the be-all and end-all of what it needs to do in order to round out the saga. Yeah, uh... Yeah, one thing it needs to do is be a good movie so that way you know fans will want to you know want to actually see it but then again no one wants to see it and not many of you i mean like what's the point you know i mean force awakens was just a copy the last jedi just sucked ass and well really what do you, uh what's the point what you know, what are you going to wrap up a sequel trilogy in, in one movie when you had such a... You guys know where I'm coming from. This is largely a prequels idea, which is where we really learned about the concept of balance. Albeit from the Jedi's misguided point of view. I don't know, I think this article is misguided. And their chosen one prophecy, however, it can also be applied to the original trilogy, too. We can see it all through Luke's journey and Obi-Wan and Yoda and blah, 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 blah. There needs to be a point for Luke to return in Episode Nine, after all. And there needs to be a major shift in the galaxy for Episode Nine to end the Skywalker saga. Just doing that might be by killing them doesn't fit with a franchise built on the idea of hope. Ending it with balance, finally brought to the galaxy, though, and with it, a sense of peace certainly does. But look, come on, well, let's. There is always going to be force sensitive people, and they're going to figure out in some way how to make use of the force. Some are going to be good, some are going to be bad. So, this really doesn't end anything. You know, um, the only thing that it's going to do is just create a whole new uh, thing. Like, maybe they won't call it Jedi, maybe they won't call it Sith. You know, but it's not going to end anything. There's always going to be Force Sensitives out there. And... Uh, but then again, this is Disney. This is Disney changing canon. So, I don't know, man. This this is all a bunch of garbage. This whole sequel trilogy is a bunch of garbage. And if um, if J.J. Abrams is pretty much ignoring what happened the Last Jedi, then I don't see how this would be happening. But who the heck knows, man? Who the heck knows at this point? So, um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I have an idea, but let me know anyway. Uh, let's, let's talk about it. Let's, let's, let me know what you think about this garbage. Uh, other than that, I will see you on another rambling video. 
and I've got other ones planned, so they're not going to be freaking Star Wars. Anyway, I'll see you then.